Hi, I'm Rini from Pichipix Productions. I am part of the video production team here in Ideas and Inspiration. One of the most common questions I get about editing videos is how can you easily add in subtitles and captions to a video. And in this tutorial video, I am going to show you just that. So sit back, relax and get ready to learn how to become a pro at adding subtitles and captions to your video. Let's get into how you can easily add in baked in captions or subtitles to your video. I'm going to show you how to do it using two of my favorite apps. Both are equally easy to use but comes with slightly different features. Give them both a try and see which is the one you prefer. Let's jump right into the first platform, AutoCAP. AutoCAP is available on iOS and Android. AutoCAP is a paid app if you want to remove their watermark. It is one of my favorite apps if I want to add subtitles just by using my phone. Let me show you how it works. This is the main screen. AutoCAP allows you to record your video within the app itself. It also allows you to upload your pre-recorded video. So for this tutorial, I'll be uploading my pre-recorded video. Go to select video. Choose the video that you want to upload. In this page, you are able to choose the orientation that you want. There's original, square, story, 4x5, and 5x4. So for this video, I am going to choose story because I want to upload this subtitle video into my IG story. Once you tap next, AutoCAD will transcribe for you. It depends on the length of your video, it will take some time. There are three options at the bottom of this screen. The first page is where you can see all the transcribed text. The second page, you are able to add additional text, additional picture or a progress bar. So what I, I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm going to add my branding logo and I will add a progress bar to the video itself. Tap on picture, I will add in my branding logo. Tap on the image to rotate it. And I'm going to resize this image and bring it to the top. Tap on done and I'm going to add a progress bar to this video. I will tap in the timer button and I will change the color of the progress bar. I shall increase the height of the progress bar and increase the opacity of the progress bar and I will also bring the progress bar just slightly towards the bottom of the video. Alright, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to tap on done. The third page is where you can change again the orientation of your video. So let's go back to the first page. And if you notice in the screen, certain words are not being transcribed correctly. So there's a few options. First option is the keyboard where you can edit the text on that particular line. The second option is to edit the font type, font size, color and even the animation of the subtitles. The middle option where it shows the timer, it allows you to change the timing of that particular words within the subtitles itself. The next one is highlight where you can highlight or unhighlight certain words of your um, subtitle. The next one is for you to bring down certain words to the next line. So right now I'm going to edit certain words that is not transcribed correctly and I am going to speed up this video. Alright, I'm done. I'm just going to play this video. Alright, it looks good but I am going to change just a tiny bit on the font type and also the font size. I am changing the font type to Montserrat and I am changing the size of the subtitle. And I will bring this text slightly above because I don't want it to overlap with the progress bar that I have below. The font color and the highlighted word color, I will just make it as a default because I don't want to change that. And I'm not changing the animation as well. I'm just leaving it as words. But there's a few other options um, that's available that I emphasize. Emphasize works like this, where it emphasizes each particular word for your subtitles itself. Um, as for typewriter, it will actually animate each letter of your subtitle. So for me, I'm going to choose words. Once I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm going to tap on done. Just one tiny bit of edit, I am going to highlight certain words and unhighlight certain words. 
so let's do just that AutoCAD uses AutoCAD I'm highlighting AutoCAD uses voice recognition to transcribe audio from video in the fastest time possible with it's easy to use I'm gonna highlight this easy to use and highlight editor customizable styling and grid support I highlight grid support AutoCAD makes the best highlight best and tool for your social videos highlight videos and help to bring your personal branding highlight branding and highlight next level that's great so i'm going to save this video and as i mentioned earlier autocap is a paid app if you want to remove the watermark if you are actually using the free one there will be autocap app at the bottom right of your video let's save this video and take a look at the outcome AutoCAD uses voice recognition to transcribe audio from video in the fastest time possible. With its easy-to-use editor, customizable styling and great support, AutoCAD makes the best tool for your social videos and help to bring your personal branding to the next level. The second platform is CapWing. CapWing is a web-based and it is fantastic. Not only you can add subtitles, but you can create video content on the platform itself. But for this video, let me show you how it works to add subtitles to your videos. Once you log in, this is the main screen. As you can see, there's a lot of other tools that's available within CapWing itself. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to create subtitles using the subtitler. Upload the video to add subtitles. This is the page where you can add your subtitles. You can actually add your own subtitles manually, upload an SRT file, or do an auto-generation for your video. Let's do auto-generation for this. Usually what I do is I will select the video language, to English Singapore, and auto-generate it. Just take note that artificial intelligence is being used for this auto-generation. So usually, it will not be 100% accurate. So what you need to do is to edit certain parts of the subtitles once it's being auto-generated to make sure that the subtitles flow within your video itself. So now the video has already been auto-transcribed. So usually what I do, I will play the whole video to check whether the subtitles goes along with the video. So if you notice, some of the words are not accurate. I am going to do the editing and I'll be right back. So let's speed it up. Alright, I'm done with the editing but I know that it's not flowy enough and I will make that changes to make sure that it fits according to the text. I am moving this it is simpler sentence to the next line because I feel it's preferably to push it down. Okay, and this one I'm gonna move it to the top and this to the bottom. Alright, I'm done. I'm going to edit some of the font and text size. So on the left hand corner, you will see there's few options, text options and video option. So let's do the changes there. For the text option, I'm going to just let it stay on Arial, but I'm going to change the size of the font itself to make it smaller. And I'm going to italic it. For me, I usually um, let the color of the font to be default, but you can also change the color of the font to be your maybe your branding color or even your social media colors. And you can either change the alignment to left, center or right. So for me, I'm just uh, going to do on center. For the text position, you can move the text position down or up. As for the background, there's a few, there's four options that you can choose from. You cannot have any background or you can outline your text, your font. You can wrap it up or you can have, you can have the background in full. So for this, you can also change the background color and I am going to change to my social color which is green and I am going to make the background to be wrapped so as you can see, it actually changes from black to green for mine So for video options, I'm going to change to 16 by 9 because I want to upload this to YouTube and I make sure that this video option is fit once I'm happy with the changing of the options, I am going to go ahead and create the video. 
There you go, in no time, your watermark free is being processed. That's right, Catwing actually allows you to download your subtitle video watermark free. And that's what I like about Catwing. Now that my video is ready, I am going to download it. So let's see the outcome of this subtitle video. Catwing is a collaborative platform to create images, videos and GIFs. What's different about Catwing? It is faster, which means what take hours on iMovie can be done in just a few clicks. It is simpler because there's no installation involved. It is accessible where it works on every operating system either on your phone or your computer. It is modern because it is made by today's creators for today's creators. There it is, two simple ways you can add captions or subtitles to your videos. Using the two apps that I've shared with you are not hard to do, but it will take time and practice to get familiar with the features and functionalities of the apps. Remember, you risk losing potential viewers by not adding captions or subtitles to your videos. So be sure to do it. I hope you had fun watching this video and more importantly, learn something useful which you can use to make better videos. Should you have any question you would like to ask me, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to Ideas and Inspiration YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. Lastly, if you'd like to learn more about videography, do check out and subscribe to my channel Renee Ismail where I upload new videos every week. The link to my channel is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you again real soon. Bye!